Bye, beautiful room. Bye, Nava. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Zagreb, Croatia. Today, we're only gonna spend a couple of hours here. Now, we're gonna walk towards our car rental agency. And on the way there, we're probably gonna check out the town center of Zagreb. But our main purpose today is to go to the national park where we're gonna spend the next two nights, I think. Uh, three nights, actually. Something that's very confusing for me, maybe hopefully some of you can explain in the comments down below, is why is the car plate number here? Uh, you see, the plate is definitely Zagreb plate with a Croatian flag. But the blue color tag over there is a Hungary tag. I'm confused. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you know the answer. So yeah, this is Zagreb. So we're in a cafe and we're having some light coffee and some hot chocolate. Okay, one thing that I'm very confused about Slovenia and Croatia is that the hot chocolate here tend to be a bit too thick. You see, it's like a, like a pudding consistency. Look at that. Usually you can't even sip this. You have to use your spoon. This is necessary to drink this. So yeah, let us know in the comments down below. Is this normal? Is this a specialty in Croatia and Slovenia? In Slovenia, one of the guys in the cafe told us that we should order hot cocoa instead because that would be more liquidy. But they don't seem to have that in Croatia, so it's only this consistency. So you look at that. Don't get me wrong, it's actually quite nice, but it's a bit too difficult to drink sometimes. It's not refreshing, so you always need to accompany it with a glass of water. And prices in Zagreb is not exactly cheap because this two pieces of cake and one latte macchiato and two hot chocolate with cream it comes out to about 16 euros which is 117 kuna it is like UK prices just now we had to exchange money because most places here even the hotels only accept cash credit card is not very common here so it's the same issue as with Venice last time if you missed that vlog remember to click here but thankfully the money exchange doesn't have commission unlike Venice where they had like a 19.9% charge which is about 9.9 .9 euros minimum yeah they don't have that so that's good so now we're in an uber heading towards our car rental area we did manage to see a lot of Zagreb the city reminds me a lot of uh, Amsterdam there's a lot of tram lines a lot of pedestrian as well and the building architecture is so amazing look at that guys yeah so to all the croatian viewers sorry that we didn't manage to see a lot of your city i'm sure it's a really beautiful city and i hope you'll be back again for more It's a really nice car, they gave us a nicer car because we opt for the full damage waiver. It costs a lot of money to go for the full damage waiver, essentially twice the rental price. But I think it's worth it for the peace of mind. But definitely they were pushing us to a corner to get that uh, package. So uh, that's a slightly unhappy experience. But otherwise, okay. What? Amalia, are you happy? <laughs> Okay, and now we're gonna go and find some halal meat because we are going to split now. No, we're not going to split yet. We're oh. going to somewhere near Kraka. Kraka National Park? I, I don't know how to say it. It's K R K A. K -A. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're gonna go to Kraka. Kraka. <laughs> Kraka. Maybe, oh, wait, since it's New Year's Eve, maybe we will go to Sisabovnik or something. Sisabovnik. <laughs> I don't know, no there is a town nearby there, uh, near the coast, so hopefully it will be nice. Uh, uh, a bigger city. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but not split, it's somewhere before that. Yeah. So, time to go! Whoa, guys.
guys, check out this masjid. It's so huge and so nice, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know Croatia has such a big Muslim community. Because the masjid is big. That means the Muslim community is pretty big. Wow, the masjid is so nice, so clean, so beautiful. And on the way out, somebody gave us a sweet as well. I don't know what this is. It's a kurma. Oh, okay. Mm. There we go. <laughs> we meet again. And there's a really big halal restaurant in the masjid as well. Look at that. Oh my god, so huge. Okay, hopefully the food is good because we haven't had halal meat for the longest time. We've been eating seafood. So yeah. Salad. Oh yeah. Wow guys, the food has arrived. Mixed grill. I don't know what this is. This is also really good. Time to Everything is gone. And this is uh, Walid. Nice to meet you. He's from used to study in UUM. Yeah, so Dokkeda. Oh. <laughs> Dokkeda. Wow, mashallah. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, hey, let me give you. I'll contact you. All right. You take care, guys. Take care. Bye. And the food is so good. The masjid is so nice. Great to Don't pray. <laughs> Food is very good. Uh, the meat is so good. Uh, Bari, is it good? Yeah, it was very, very good. I think I ate meat too much because of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so next time, if you guys are looking for a place to pray, Amalia, that's not the right car. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you're looking for a place to pray and a place to eat in Croatia, in Zagreb, look no further than the... Is this the National Mosque? Central Mosque. This is, a, this is the central mosque of Zagreb. Okay, bye. Bye central mosque of Zagreb. You've been great. We will come back for more. A noob trying to see how this works. Oh no, it's oh, not. No. Oh, it's in front. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's the ticket. <laughs> Okay, just take the ticket. <laughs> so, what do you think? Easy. Just have to take the ticket, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, the wind is so strong, you have to be really careful when driving here. The car sometimes get blown left, right, left, right, because I heard that the wind can be as fast as 140 kilometers per hour. So, even if you're driving 80 kilometers per hour on the highway, sometimes your car will keep moving left, right, left, right. I have to keep fighting the wind, like right now. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh my, oh my God. gosh. But guys, this place is so isolated and so quiet that can you imagine if your car broke down here? It will be the scariest night of your life. Oh man. Not recommended to drive here at night. Drive here in the morning. Oh, Alhamdulillah. Oh, what a nice place. Wow, I nice mean, place. This apartment we opened before four months. Four months? Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. So, uh, during the war, you were small or...? Uh... I was uh, 84. Uh, Born? Uh, yes, oh. I am uh, 35 years. Oh. I was uh, go to first class uh, when... Eight when year, eight year when, when was uh, start war. Oh, yeah. oh, and wow. we come enemy and this was occupied uh, by enemy, by uh, enemy. Uh, Serbian uh, oh, okay, people. Okay, okay. That time when we heard uh, they coming with tanks, uh, oh. we go by foot. Oh. Yeah. Wow. By foot, uh, I know you, you cannot see because it's dark, but maybe tomorrow when you drive you will see. Here is Kirkha River, is maybe three mm -hmm. kilometers from yes, here. Yes, yes. I, I lied. Oh, it's Karta. Uh, how do you say Karta? Karta. 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 Yeah. Karta. And also another river is maybe one kilometer from here. So yeah. this, this, here you have got canyon, big canyons. Ah, yeah. And in that canyons you have got caves. 
we, we go uh, to sleep in caves, oh. two kilometers from oh. here, because we, we think they will pass it, yes. there will not be some but they stay. Oh. <laughs> we, we, so so we sleep three days there and uh, after that we pass canyons and uh, go to split. Oh. And, also oh. Oh. and the uh, split is always uh, stay. Uh, Right. Ah, and in Split they give us, they put us in military hotel oh, okay. yeah. and we sleep uh, four years in, in, in a room like this, oh. only, only room, no kitchen or anything, oh, uh, wow. uh, so, but what is right, right. Oh. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. that's amazing uh, story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is okay. where, where we are now. Everything in this green line is, is national park. Mm. Oh. But the uh, most important points are your focus, if you ask me this, this mm -hmm. part. This north, this is north entrance to Krka. This is place where is a uh, waterfall. Uh, you have got one renovated cave also with, uh, okay. I think, 800 steps. You must to, to 800 to, to steps? Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, after that, this, this is main entrance. This is south entrance. This is place most popular. Okay. Uh, there is uh, most of the biggest cascade uh, waterfalls uh, and, and, and the things I know. Mm. And this, this is a little big, bigger place than, than this. So we've arrived at our Airbnb. The drive just now was so nerve-wracking. The wind is too strong. So if you're planning to drive in Croatia, just be aware. The speed limit is not a problem because we don't see any speed cameras. If there are any speed cameras, leave a comment down below because I don't see any. All the way from Zagreb to Krka. I noticed some drivers are actually driving at 60 km per hour even in the middle of the highway because sometimes the wind is just too strong and your car will lose stability. The Airbnb right now that we're staying is really nice. Our host is really nice and, and he gave us this plate of welcoming dessert I would say. It's so nice. It's so nice. Oh, I'm gonna try this one because this one looks like one. It's so nice. Yeah, it looks like Turkish delight. So I'm gonna try the Turkish delight. It's not Turkish delight. Mm, it's not. It's not mm. Oh man, so good. Mm. So good, right? It's oh. fluffy with coconut flakes. Yeah, so nice. Mm. Mm. And just now, after walking out of the car, we saw parts of Kirka National Park and it was filled with stars like you can see it with your naked eye so we're very excited right now hopefully maybe if I have the courage because it's quite cold and the wind is pretty strong I think the wind is close to like 70 kilometers per hour not gonna fly the drone because that would be too dangerous but definitely if I have the courage I'm gonna try to get you guys a star lapse so that you guys can see for yourself how beautiful the sky is. This could be the end of the video or you might see a star lapse after this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you want to watch in the next video. But definitely, we're going to bring you more from Kirka National Park and the rest of Croatia. Yeah, don't forget us. <laughs>